Hello everyone, and uh, this is Raymond here, and I'm bringing you Craft the World. Yes, I at the moment it's Saturday evening. I was deciding whether to sleep a bit or do a video, so I decided to do a video. This game was in like a sale because it was Steam Summer Sale, and I already played. It six hours, that's not six minutes by the way, six hours of 21 minutes of the game because I wanted to test it out before actually recording and I decided I will record because I missed the Sonic episode because uh, I'll explain it later start a uh, new campaign so basically this is like a sort of Terraria slash RTS sort of like type game of thingy my jig. Uh, I'm not really sure how I unlock these other ones yet, but we're gonna start off with the first one. You basically have this world, and you have this one dwarf that you can actually command them to do like stuff, and you get tasks. And you, each time you do the tasks, you get experience, and once you grow a level, you get a dwarf each time. Uh, cut a tree, dig a tunnel, and let's look at our surroundings. To be honest. Uh, for a small world, it's not too bad, I guess. But I guess this will be our like base of like place. So you basically command your dwarf to actually like cut a tree, and he'll cut your tree. It takes a while because it, he's using this like really bad stone uh, knife thing, which is uh, not very good. So this game is pretty relaxing. I like it. But then there's things that drop down. I got awarded with some stuff. Uh, a dwarf can only carry a, a certain amount of items, and then you have to deposit into that base thing. I don't really know what it's actually called, but yeah. But let's do the next task where we have to collect dig a tunnel. M many minerals are deep under the so just dig three times, I guess. I'll collect that berry as well, so I can dig this out further. Let's, I want to try and expand this place out a bit. What's this? Another new task? Collect stones. If I collect ten stones, I should get ten XP. We need a hundred XP to actually level up. But yeah, the reason I actually like didn't record a video is... Well, I did record a video, I forgot to render it and upload it because I was kind of busy on Thursday. I went to a job fair and I when, I, when I, when it was the morning I was about to release my video, I was like, oh no, I forgot to actually release the Sonic video. I'm not lying, by the way. <laughs> so it's genuinely, uh, genuinely true. Can I actually make something? Yes, I can make a pickaxe now. The crafting system is a bit weird. You double click on something and it takes it to the page and then you craft it. Yay! Now I have a totem and another dwarf and one stone! Oh, thank you. Uh, the totem basically like... Get... Um, ghosts away from... Uh, your supply box because they always, uh, want to try and thieve some stuff. One thing that this game doesn't really do it it doesn't really explain how to do a lot of things. Um, like to put down a totem, I didn't know I have to drag it into the quick toolbar and then wait for the dwarf to have to put it down. And also making a house, a shelter. Where is it? You would think this is like an easy thing, wouldn't you? But it's not. <laughs> You actually have to do quite a lot of like digging and putting up a roof and stuff like that. It, it's kind of like mm, hard. Uh, but let's just clear out this area so we have this whole area to actually move around. Oh, wait. I can't go up there anymore. Oh. Uh, I guess I have to put like a dirt block or something. 
wherever dirt is. I don't think we actually have a dirt, any dirt. I guess we'll just dig out this. So, yeah. I don't really know what to talk about in this game. It's basically quite self-explanatory ish. It does tell you some things, but not most sort of things. I don't know what I'm talking about right now. Actually, should I start like making a house now? Uh let's see. Let's this is our crafting tree, so we need to kind of know how timber works, I guess. Actually, let's make some ladders. Now we can actually, you know, get up to that bit. Uh, what other things do we need? A like club would be nice. Oh, it automatically puts the thing. Yeah, once you have like a full inventory stuff, you, it doesn't really put it in there. Um, you don't have any wood. Oh, we will have some wood soon. Uh, this game still has some issues, like, um, like the pathing of the dwarf might get messed up a bit, which makes it a bit ish to play. But uh, it's pretty fun. I find it quite fun. This game. I mean, I only spent like six hours playing it. Not much. <laughs> What was I going to say? Oh yeah, I started my first voluntary work day today, and it was good. It wasn't too like hard. The task I had to undertake wasn't that bad as well. It was actually quite fun, and I'm doing another voluntary day is on what is it on day? Oh gosh. What's happening? Oh, it's rain. Um, on Tuesday and then Saturday again. Just collect those things. Oops, cut. Basically, this is what you have to do until you can actually get more stuff to make. Because at the moment, you can um, make quite a few things. Not sure. Once you g uh, get this bar up to the top, you have learnt, like, uh, we ran out of wood. We can move on to the next crafting sort of like thing, and you have to keep doing this stuff. <laughs> uh, we need to make some more tools, to be honest. I think we just got some logs. Yes, we did. Actually, it would help if I actually equipped the things on them because <laughs> I forgot. And uh, let's see, a club for you. They all have like skills. Yeah, I think it, depending what the skills are, uh, both of these are archers. They actually get more skills in like certain places, like archery. You do more damage with a bow or something. I don't know. <laughs> Can I make another axe? Actually. No, I don't have any stones, do I? Let's collect some stones then. And this is a shop, you can buy stuff from here. But there's not really much point because we don't have any money at the moment. I can't really like go up and t unless I use my ladder. I wonder if how, how this will actually go. The only thing we can't really do is like speed up the time on this, which is kind of uh, what did I need to make? I forgot. <laughs> I 
have a pickaxe for him. I need an axe and a pickaxe for the other dude. Unfortunately, we don't really have much stone. There we go. Can I cut this? Oh, is it turning to night at the moment? Uh, there's like these grave sites here, which spawn skeletons and stuff like that, that at night time. They will come and attack us, which is going to be bad. <laughs> Just have to keep mining, I guess. For a game like this, I kind of find it hard to talk because there's not really much happening. Well, there is stuff happening, but I can't really like explain it and then play it at the same time. But at the moment, it's really dark, and I think stuff has maybe spawned. No. I don't know when stuff spawn, but let's just hurry up and set up a camp. Still has one stone. Sort of make the sound a bit too dramatic. It seems like a lot of things are coming to kill you. That's just a chicken, don't worry guys. Usually there's some like wave coming. Like oh cookbook. We're just gone at the moment, I don't know why. I think I have to reach a certain level before like a wave starts to come. But this is basically what you need to do, you just keep digging and get some resources so you can actually make some more stuff. Let's see if I can remember how to make an axe. There we go. Now we have unlocked basic housing. That makes like a, a bed makes you sleep. I don't know how to... Basically you sleep in the bed and then you restore your HP. Let's see, let's make some torches because it's kind of dark. <laughs> Unfortunately we don't have any back to actually put it in. Unless we use dirt. Uh, we don't have any of those. What other... Whoa. Hello, new dwarf. Uh, slime torch, light magic. If I use that, does that make me get more experience? Oh, it does. Now we can actually make iron stuff. The thing I wanted to try to get is wooden basic construction at the moment. Uh, we need to start making our mines, like probably like here or something. We can probably dig out this wood thing. Oh, there's some monsters coming along. It's just a few skeletons. Nothing we can't handle. Take that one first because I don't know how. Oops. 
These are sand. And they're used for making glass. This is a ghost. It will always try to go there, but uh, this thing stops it from going towards it. The totem. Basically acts like a safeguard, like a thing to protect from the ghost from making you drop all the items and picking them up again. Because it will be annoying to be in a loop, always. Let's see if I can make another pickaxe. I'm pretty sure I can. And what does this dwarf specialize in? Logger. I have no idea what that does. Hmm. We already have an axe. Did I make an axe before? Because... Yeah. It was for the other dude. Hmm. Ah, oh, man. I should have created an axe instead. I think I accidentally... Yeah, I made. <sighs> oh well. But as you can see down here, we, there's like a massive iron mine here. And digging should always be like a bit careful because you want to dig the back wall as well. Just so you get the most out of the. Things. I don't know why there's some grass growing right now. At least we can put a torch here now because there's like a back wall. Let's see, I'm pretty sure, yep, I can make another X now. I wouldn't bother making another club, to be honest. Oh, found a queen. But yeah, if you enjoy me, uh, playing this game, please do leave a like and tell me if uh, I should continue with this. Should we cut these trees down as well? Remove that lag though. I find it just like relaxing just playing these type of games where you just watch stuff happen. Wow, that has a lot of logs in it. Soon we should be able to hunt like animals, like pigs and chickens and sheep, because we really need them. Uh, later. Uh, what time is it? I'll just grow one more level, then um, that will be it for this episode. Those are coal, I'm gonna hoping to stretch my mind out to actually get over there. I think they prioritize picking up stuff before digging, which is kind of interesting. So yeah, this is basically what happens in this game a lot. Just wait for them to pick up stuff and hopefully they'll dig up stuff. What do we get? Oh yeah, the cooking book. I'm not really entirely sure what happens when they die. Like, will they come back or what? That's the same person and stuff like that. I know they'll drop all the items on the floor. Increase brief time. Okay. 
Oh, I found some seeds. Yeah. We should have this mined with like some ladder in it because, you know, safety first. Basic armor. Also, we can make some backpacks, but we don't have any uh, ropes. Ropes are from sheep. Um, let's see. Ooh, yay! New, new people. There's some sheep here. S ask my followers to attack. These innocent animals. Uh, Smith. I'm guessing he's good at smithing. Let's make him a uh, hit pickaxe as well. I mean, not pickaxe, a stone axe. All geared up. Okay, I think they pr prioritize killing first. Oh, wait, I already grew the level, and uh, let's just kill some stuff first then I guess. It takes them a while to actually get to certain places. I don't know which one they're gonna attack first as well. Okay, the sheep. I don't think they know how to swim, so let's just be running around in this island. Pigs are kind of hostile, though. Where's the other dude? He's still trying to make his way over there. But you're not done. Yeah, this is pretty good. Uh, too bad it takes quite a long time to actually get anywhere. Oh, the spawner has come. Um, I think from the next few videos, after every like the wave, I will stop. Uh, like every wave that happens, I will stop playing. It's taking a while. But yeah, thank you for watching guys, and I will see you, I'm not really sure when I'm going to upload more, <laughs> but I will play more of this because I really like this game and I want to get something with this, and yeah, goodbye.